new digi digital technology offers a great hope for European innovation, allowing every business to open up new opportunities, from the smallest startup with a bright idea to change the world, to the largest company using cloud computing services to make IT more productive. Digital tools and the amazing open platform of the internet are a transformational technology for the 21st century. At a time of crisis, more than ever, it's clear to me that we must focus on tomorrow's sources of growth. And it is also clear to me that if Europe is going to lead in anything, we shall have to lead in digital. It's a lead we once had. As we pioneered technologies from GSM to the text message and dominated the market in key sectors like mobile handsets, nowadays the big ICT giants are the largest companies in the world, but they are American, not European. But this is not just about the ICT sector. It is about every economic sector that can innovate and grow through digital. It's about the whole economy. From hotels to hospitals, audiovisual to automotive, there are few sectors that cannot be and benefit from a digital boost. And here are three ways we can ensure European technology leadership for the future. First, by making Europe more innovation friendly. With nearly 80 billion euros of investment over seven years, the EU's new research and innovation program, Horizon 2020, will be the biggest ever and the most focused on innovation. Making it easier to bridge the gap from lab to market, with less red tape than ever before and with digital technology at its heart. With new partnerships to build Europe's industrial leadership in areas like electronics and photonics, promoting European scientific excellence, including with large-scale projects on the human brain and the new wonder material, graphene, and tackling the challenges of our society, from smarter cities to e-health. Plus, we can make Europe more friendly to web entrepreneurs, Europe's bright hope for a prosperous, innovative future. The Startup Manifesto, written by a group of talented European entrepreneurs, contains some ideas how to do that. Its 22 recommendations have received over 6,000 signatures and are well worth a read. Second, we need human capital for the digital century. The digital transformation means significant changes in labor markets. Jobs in certain industries decline, but in others there is booming demand for new jobs requiring new skills. Today, Europe faces a skills mismatch, with soon almost 1 million unfilled ICT vacancies, even in a time of high unemployment. To stay competitive, and find jobs for more Europeans, we need concerted action with industry, training providers and governments working together to ensure the right skills for Europe. And that is what I hope our Grand Coalition for Digital Jobs can deliver. And finally, to be competitive in the 21st century, we must be connected. So many of today's innovations rely on broadband, reliable, pervasive, fast, but to have the right broadband networks, we need the right legal frameworks so that operators think big, not constrained by borders or by a fragmented jumble of different systems, so that citizens don't have to worry when they use their phones abroad, but get seamless digital service, so that businesses benefit from better broadband across borders with the secure, high-quality connections to sustain the great number of new cloud computing services. If we stick to the old mindset, we are constraining services and limiting opportunities. New digital innovations like connected cars or e-health monitoring could be a big step forward. But would they really pay roaming charges? So those are the ingredients for my recipe. How Europe can become a 21st century tech leader and drive forward in the digital age with innovation, skills and broadband networks to face the future and stride on the world stage. Thank you.